Welcome back. It's time for Sunday Brunch and joining us this morning is Mary Elizabeth Plavonich. She is the Executive Pastry Chef at the Lord Baltimore Hotel. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I'm going to let you say <laughs> what we're making. <laughs> so today we're making pavlova. It's super easy. We can each make one. Um, okay. What it starts off with is a hard meringue shell that this looks as so good. Aggressively as you want, you want to crack it open with okay. your spoon. And you say there's no wrong way to do this. No wrong way. Okay, here we go. Except I made a mess and you didn't. It's okay. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> so next, the mm -hmm. nice thing about pavlova is it's super light for mm -hmm. spring and summer. We're going to start with lemon curd. Oh, it looks so good. But if you're doing a brunch, mm -hmm. you can also use yogurt. If it's a hot summer night, you can use sorbet or ice cream. What is in your lemon curd? It's um, it's really thick. Eggs, lemon juice, oh, lemon yeah. zest, um, and then once you're done cooking it, once mm -hmm. it gets thick, I like to whisk in a little bit of butter. Oh wow, that looks so good. So then next we're going mm -hmm. to add some vanilla bean whipped cream. Oh wow. But again, if you were doing yogurt, you could easily do a little bit of granola. It just looks like heaven. Yeah. Am I putting too much on it? No, is that there's okay? no such thing okay. as too much whipped you cream. You see, this is good to do with kids too because it really gets them actively involved in making right. it. Right, and then um, the nice thing is your toppings mm -hmm. are super versatile. If you wanted, you can do a chocolate one, mm -hmm. um, you could do fruit. Since the shell is meringue, which is similar to marshmallow, you can actually do a s'mores one if you're doing oh an outdoor gosh, barbecue. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What a great idea. And then have idea. them toast their marshmallows and top it. Right, you that. made this look so gorgeous. It's really a feast for your palate. And really, I guess it's to taste any of these berries right. that you want to be on top. What What is this one? It's plum. So That's we have plum. blackberry, blueberry, mm -hmm. plum, strawberry, peaches, mm -hmm. mandarin oranges, mangoes, and kiwi. Oh my gosh, so this looks gorgeous. It's super versatile because you can switch it to breakfast sure. easily. Kids get to eat their fruit. This is awesome. So as we're building our toppings here, we're going to talk and work at the same time. Sure. Tell me about some of the other items on your menu there at so the French Kitchen. In the Lord French Baltimore. Kitchen, we just came out with a new spring menu. We mm -hmm. have a pistachio creme brulee that's topped with apricots. Oh my gosh. We wow. have the pavlova mm -hmm. as well as um, a gâteau normand, which is a traditional apple cake from the Normandy region of France. That sounds beautiful. Um, that's topped with an amaretto whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Um, you poor thing, you get to, to sample and make all I these do. wonderful things. It, it's a tough job, but someone has to do it. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Well, if you would like a copy of today's recipe, just log on to our website, wbaltv.com.